1556, the earth roared in a fury. It brought one of the deadliest natural disasters in history to the Chinese province of Shaanxi. On the morning of January 23rd of that year, a massive earthquake shook the land. It had an estimated strength of magnitude 8 on the Richter scale. Although not the most powerful compared to other earthquakes, it triggered landslides and, most critically, caused the collapse of Yaodongs. Yaodongs are artificial caves that people lived in during that time. The residents of Shaanxi had no idea that this catastrophe would claim over 100,000 lives by current estimates. In addition, about 700,000 people died in the famines and sickness after the disaster. This fatality count summed up the 830,000 people who died and was written in the historical account. This makes it one of the deadliest natural disasters in Chinese history. The earthquake's epicenter was in the Wei River Valley, and it caused widespread destruction, affecting places as far as 500 kilometers away. The quake was so severe that 20-meter-deep crevices opened in the earth, swallowing everything in their path. At the time, the region's population mostly lived in Yaodangs carved into Loess cliffs. These cliffs are made up of Loess soil. Loess is a sedimentary deposit of fine-grained, wind-blown silt deposited by the wind. It is usually light-colored, porous, and loosely compacted, making it easy to carve and shape. These caves were naturally insulated, providing cool summer and warm winter temperatures. These properties made it attractive for people to make them into homes. However, the soft lowest soil was no match for the earthquake's wrath, and the Yaodongs collapsed, burying many residents alive. The initial quake was devastating, and its aftershocks also shook the area several times a month for half a year. Historical structures were damaged or destroyed. One of them was the Forest of Stone Stells. This museum contained a vast collection of upright stone slabs created during the Tang Dynasty from 618 to 907 AD and later dynasties. The stels were significant artifacts because they were inscribed with various texts, including historical records, calligraphy, and Confucian classics. The 114 Kaichun Stone Classics, Chinese classic texts carved onto stone tablets during the Tang Dynasty, lost 40 volumes in the earthquake. The Small Wild Goose Pagoda, a historic Buddhist pagoda that contained and preserved Buddhist scriptures and relics brought from India, was damaged or destroyed. The tectonic setting of the region also played a significant role in the disaster. Shaanxi is located in the northern part of China, and several significant faults bound it, forming the southern and eastern boundaries of the Ordos block. These large fault lines have been the cause of many historical earthquakes, including the 1556 Shaanxi earthquake. The quake's death toll was staggering, leading to the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people, with seven times that number migrating away or dying from famine and plagues that followed. It was the deadliest earthquake in recorded history. Even today, it is remembered as one of the deadliest natural disasters. The catastrophe's impact on the region's population and the destruction of many historical structures made it a significant event in Chinese history. We hope that you liked this video and found it informational. Please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. It would really help us out a lot. Thanks.